Here we present our work called Continuity Mapping for Multi-Chart Textures. Given a 3D artist provided model, it is well known that multi-chart parameterizations introduce scenes over the mesh, causing serious problems for several applications like texture filtering, relief mapping, and simulations in the texture space. When texturing, the standard approach is to perform a bilinear interpolation over a regular grid of texels defined on each chart. These texel grids do not match up at chart boundaries, and bilinear signals defined over two adjacent charts will not be continuous across the boundary. Our motivation is to provide a continuous mapping for any multi-chart parameterization. The main contributions of our technique are to make any multi-chart parameterization seamless, to use the original artist's content without re-parameterization, avoiding the usual blurring and artifacts. It's a GPU-friendly technique with low computational and memory costs. And also, it's fully automatic. Continuity mapping is composed of two related techniques, Traveler's Map and Sewing the Seams, which are built in a pre-processing stage. On the one hand, Traveler's Map solves the texture of spatial discontinuity at chart boundaries. On the other, Sewing the Seams generates for each chart a thin border of filtering triangles in texture space used to correctly interpolate and filter texture values at chart boundaries. Later, at runtime, texture discontinuities are eliminated. Traveler's map defines a correspondence in texture space, which allows the transformation of any point outside a chart with a corresponding point inside. To store this transformation, we create a thin security border around the charts by extending the 2D seam edges to the exterior of the chart. This information is encoded in texels surrounding the artist's provided chart without modifying the artist's content. Using Traveler's Map is quite easy. Whenever a point must be evaluated outside a chart, by using the corresponding transformation, it can be transformed to a point inside the related chart. The construction for sewing the seams has the following steps. First, we identified the trustworthy texel centers in every chart, which are the representation of the true boundary of the artist-defined content inside the chart, and should be preserved. Using Traveler's Map, we transform the trustworthy texel centers to the outside of the corresponding chart. Next, we triangulate interior and exterior trustworthy texel centers resulting in a unique triangulation when mapped back in 3D space. In each texel with the sewing information, we store the list of sewing triangles that are mapped onto it. When a fragment needs to be evaluated, we retrieve the corresponding list of triangles and perform a point-in-triangle test to find the corresponding one. Finally, we interpolate its coordinates to fetch its texture colours and perform the final shading. Here we show some applications that benefit from continuity mapping. In spite of the fine tuning the artist did over the snake model, seams are still visible with padding alone. Sewing the seams allows seamless texture filtering. Also, sewing the steam shows its stability when working with atlases like the one used for the Neptune mesh, which has a large number of charts, including several small ones, even containing seams at the subtextual level. Relief mapping over multi chart textures remains unsolved. But with continuity mapping, it's now possible. When searching for the intersection point, we can sample outside a chart. Using Traveler's Map, we find the point inside the corresponding chart to continue the search. 
to sample in areas close to the seams, we use the sewing the seams technique to have correct interpolation. Here we show some results of multi-chart relief mapping. Continuity mapping proves to be more accurate than padding and indirection maps, as our approach provides subtextual accuracy transformations, also allowing the preservation of directions. Here we show another result of multi-chart relief mapping over the Loish Dragon model. Without continuity mapping, artifacts appear near the seams. Traveller's map is effectively used to evaluate simulations and the method requires sampling outside a chart. For rendering, in addition to bump mapping, we use the full continuity mapping solution for correct texture filtering.